بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم We are continuing our lectures about dental anatomy at a glance and today we will talk about the permanent maxillary second premolar The permanent maxillary second premolar is very similar to the first premolar So we will mention the key differences between these two teeth We will start from an occlusal aspect We said before that in the maxillary first premolar uh, from an occlusal aspect it has uh, a hexagonal figure while in the maxillary second premolar it is less angular giving a more rounded effect a more rounded effect to the crown from all aspects okay the second difference obviously it's the root it has a single root the third one the mesial slope of the buccal cusp ridge is usually shorter than the distal slope while the opposite is true of the first primo so here the mesial slope sorry the mesial slope is shorter than the distal slope The cusp of the second premolar, the cusps, both of them, of the second premolar, are shorter, with the buccal and lingual cusp more nearly at the same level, at, uh, at the same level or uh, more nearly the same length. We said in the maxillary first premolar that the buccal cusp is longer by one millimeter from the lingual cusp while here we can see that the buccal cusp is nearly not entirely nearly at the level of the lingual cusp or nearly the same length now for the most important note there is no developmental uh, depression is evident on the mesial surface of the crown as on the first premolar. So, the mesial developmental depression is not very much evident in the second premolar, which is the opposite in the first premolar. The distal root depression is deeper than the mesial depression on the maxillary second premolar we said that the mesial depression is not very obvious while the distal depression is deep in the second premolar this characteristic of the distal root surface is the opposite of that of the maxillary first premolar in which the depression is on the mesial surface we said that a knowledge of where these depressions are fa uh, a knowledge where these depressions are facilitate periodontal instrumentation that is scaling and root planning so the this is the second premolar if we made a comparison this is the first this is the second premolar in the first premolar the mesial developmental depression is the most prominent one on the mesial surface while in the second premolar the distal developmental depression is the most prominent one is the most deepest one on the distal surface so this is a way to distinguish to distinguish between these two teeth and this feature is used to facilitate periodontal instrumentation by knowing where the depression is located on the mesial side or in, on the distal side. This is a very important note. The other note, there is a tendency toward multiple su supplementary grooves radiating from the central groove. So in the second premolar, the maxillary second premolar, we can see there are multiple 
supplementary grooves which radiate from the central uh, developmental groove this is the central developmental groove and these are the radiating one this arrangement makes for an irregular occlusal surface and gives the surface a very wrinkled appearance so how to distinguish between the maxillary first and second premolar from an occlusal surface the occlusal arrangement the occlusal surface of the second premolar is irregular in arrangement compared to the maxillary first premolar because of multiple supplementary grooves radiating from the central groove so that's it for the maxillary second premolar and inshallah we will meet in the mandibular premolars thank you for watching and goodbye